Hi there, my poster is from a driving trip I took in California in July 2019. It was a round trip from San Francisco to Lake Tahoe for a vacation course, A Life That Sings. The idea came from, came from a writing course assignment where I was writing a memoir and also from an inquiry asking whether we always remember our feelings and emotions. So in each photo I tried to recall how I felt at the time. It lasts six minutes, then at the end I invite you to share your own memory and join in the inquiry. Also see how it impacts your life now. This is the hire car I picked up from San Francisco Airport, a Kia Sports Automatic. Um, I really didn't want anything to go wrong, um, so I practiced sitting on the right hand side, getting used to the controls um, and really feeling comfortable with the car before setting off for Sacramento. My next setback though was realising I had no sat nav on my phone. So I wrote down the sequence of highway numbers to follow and set off into the unknown. Great preparation for the partnership exploration course I'd be attending in a year's time. After a few hours of nighttime driving, I spotted a motor lodge with a sign for free breakfast. I checked in and enjoyed a good sleep. The next morning I started to really enjoy my vacation. The roads were clear and wide and there was a bright yellow line down the middle of the road. After a while I noticed the altitude rising and according to Google Maps I should be shortly approaching the lake. Then round the corner I saw the glorious Lake Tahoe, a wide expanse of blue with snow-capped mountains on the horizon. This is Fallen Leaf Lake. Uh, a passenger at the airport recommended going there before going to Lake Tahoe. It's such a beautiful place with clear water and wonderful views. After walking by some beautiful old redwoods, I saw these fences which I was wondering were they perhaps snow barriers? The drive around Lake Tahoe was beautiful. This is Emerald Bay. I had to stop and take a picture. I continued driving along the lakeside road and soon arrived at the Holiday Lodge, hosted, hosting for the, hosted for the course. I checked in, collected my cabin keys and started meeting the participants. It, there was around 30 participants on the course and we got to know each other pretty quickly during breakfast and the morning classroom sessions. More so because each afternoon we got into groups and took part in adventure activities. One person in our group was kayaking for the first time and she felt afraid. We all helped to reach the island. I found the treetop adventure confronting, walking along rope bridges and rope ladders, especially when you had to step off a 40 foot high tree onto the handles of a zip line. The next day was paddle boarding at the beach. I'm always curious when I see a new bird. Later I discovered that this is a Stella's Jay. My final adventure afternoon was flying over Lake Tahoe in a light aircraft. We were lucky enough to have Julian as our pilot and he took three of us up for a half hour trip for $30 each. I felt a mixture of fear and excitement and trust as I put my helmet on and watched the propellers go round. Sitting in the cockpit next to Julian I felt reassured by his thorough checklist which he communicated to air traffic control. After the flight here's me and Julian. On the final morning we drove to a large shop and I enjoyed finding holiday gifts for my daughter and son and a hat for myself. My drive back to San Francisco was spectacular. I got to drive through the Nevada desert and enjoy stopping along the way. This is the West Walker River in Nevada. After seeing the snow-topped mountains from Lake Tahoe, it felt satisfying to be up close, touching the ice. I was puzzled how it was warm enough to wear shorts, yet the ice didn't melt. I found out it's the thin air at high altitudes that makes the air less conductive and also leads to low temperatures at night time, so the ice doesn't really have time to melt. These meadow plants looked like daffodils that turned out to be woolly mule's ears. 
Sonora Pass felt like a very special place. I stopped to read the plaque by the roadside. It was said to take three weeks for a six-horse team to make the round trip between Sonora and Bridgeport. I enjoyed stopping over at the same Airbnb that had cancelled and the host suggested going to an outdoor movie under the stars. This is Donald Vista at Stanislaus National Forest. While driving back to San Francisco Airport, I felt pleased that I had hired the car, instead of taking a flight directly to Reno. Not only for the scenic drives, but also for the car trips we arranged by, for Lakeside Adventures. I'm looking forward to more vacation courses and many more experiences that I'll remember. Through writing this poster, I've become interested in reconnecting with the participants of the course and hearing how the course was for them. I've now attended three vacation courses and all of them have been very memorable experiences. My inquiry is what was at the source? Was it really the feelings and emotions or something else? I say it is accountability by the course leader Jerry Fishman and the assisting team and the hotel staff for providing such great service and the participants for include and including myself for participating and having fun.